John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is starring once again Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, and Ian McShane, I believe is his name. It is the third installment in the John Wick fruit series, and I will now review that, the newest installment, um, non-spoiler review. There will be no spoilers in this review, so you don't have to worry about that. Or I'm going to do my best to not do any, at least. Um, the third one starts dr almost directly from where the second one ended. Um, if you haven't already seen the second one, obviously you should go see that first, because I will probably spoil some things from that, from the second one for this review. So, here's your spoiler warning for John Wick 2. Um, it starts off right where that one left off, where he has been excommunicado, or excommunicated from this organization that he's in. Um, now, I will say this one is not as good as the first two. I'll just go ahead and put that out there right now. I did love this one. It's great. Story-wise, not too good in my opinion. Action-wise, probably the best action scenes out of all three movies is this is three. Um, but story-wise, obviously I can't get much into it without spoiling it. Uh, but it really just didn't do much for me. Um, you kind of end the same way you began. Like I said, I mean, that doesn't make sense with you about you seeing it. But if you've seen it, you know what I mean by that. So not much story-wise, but action scene, phenomenal. Definitely some of the best action scenes I've seen in a long time for an action movie. Um, the choreographers are amazing. John or Keanu Reeves is amazing. He does most of his stunts for this movie and the other two. And from what I've seen, Halle Berry also did most of her stunts for this movie. Um, she's not in it as much as you would assume she is from the trailer, but she is. the scenes she's in are amazing. And I saw an interview where she said that she wanted the... John Wick training. She wanted all, even though she's not doing everything that he's done, she wanted that training that Keanu Reeves has got for this, for these movies, this franchise. So that's an amazing, that's a really cool thing to do as an actor and actress. Um, so I'm really impressed with that. And it definitely shows off in the scene she is in. Um, like I said, there's really not a whole lot to say about this movie without spoiling, spoiling it. Um, great action scenes. Keanu Reeves does great. I mean, all the actors in this movie do phenomenal. Um, there's a little bit of comedy, a couple scenes of like, you know, they try to add a little bit of comedy in there, but not too much to make it kind of not fit in, I guess you could say. Um, I can't think of his name. I got pulled up my phone right now. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Mark DeCasicios? I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Um, but he is someone new in the franchise for this movie. And I loved him. He's really out there. He's odd, but it's they've made it more funny. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but he was great. Um, Keanu Reeves does his usual John Wick lines, which if most people said these lines in a movie, it would sound stupid as shit. But with it being Keanu Reeves, he definitely pulls it off. Has those really quirky one-liners that, like I said, don't doesn't work with most people, but it works with him, and it's amazing. Um, so I would definitely recommend going and seeing this movie. Um, I've never rated the other two, because I've never done movie reviews that much. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about that. But for John Wick 3, Parabellum, I am going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, like I said, story-wise, not great. Um, but in my personal opinion, I don't go to these movies for the story. Um, John Wick has proven, the franchise has proven, they do have an interesting backstory with this organization he's involved in and what he's done before, you know, as the boogeyman and stuff like that. So if they wanted to, and they might do that because they're not done. I mean, this set, up for, this set up for a sequel, or a fourth one. So if they really wanted to, they could really expand with this story and really make it a very compelling story that you're going to care about more than just caring about uh, John Wick. Uh, but they haven't done that yet, too. They did that a little bit in this one. Like They do a small amount of story um, connection to show you a little bit of new things. But they haven't done it yet. A lot yet. But besides that, I mean, this is an action movie. You're going to it to see the action. And the action is amazing. Some of the best action scenes I've ever seen to date. Um, so I highly recommend it. So like I said, I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I would definitely recommend you guys go into theaters to see it. I think it's a great movie to see in theaters. And that is it. That is my review for John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. I hope you guys enjoyed.